Hey guys, Bobbery18 here, and welcome back to more Pikmin. In the last part, we started, officially I guess you could say, on the Forest Naval, and this part we'll go back to it and get all the ship parts but one, unless we're lucky, but I highly doubt we will get all four of them because the last one is includes a boss that's kind of long. Um, it's not really that hard as long as you know how to deal with it, but it can be kind of, you know, long to deal with. Anyway... I'm going to take out a bunch of reds, and we are going to go fight a totally separate boss that's pathetically easy, if you know how to deal with it. I'm going to get out, uh, 40, or no, I'm going to get out, uh, yeah, 50 is probably fine, I'll, because I need to have 20 get on that analog computer, and then the rest will come with me to fight the boss. Uh, I probably could be doing something else as well, but I think I have enough time in the day to do it later, so, uh, that's fine. Uh, I'll just get 20 on this. 20 would be down to 30. Yeah, I'm looking at the counter down there because sometimes the Pikmin on that don't actually reflect how many you threw. I mean, it does, but it takes a minute to update. But, you know. Anyway, uh, we need to go down where these mushrooms are. And the reason I'm taking reds is because, one, you know, fire and stuff. Two, uh, actually, I need to destroy these because they're going to be taking the thing through here. Yeah, I didn't mention it before, but these shear rigs and shear, or yeah, these shear rigs and shear grubs, if you throw Pikmin right on top of them, um, they will die instantly, so I guess they're like the dwarf bulb orbs in that way. Also, I lost one, yeah, it's kind of, it can be really hard to tell when you actually lose one from these guys, but, because they, like, these are, guys are surprisingly dangerous, if you let them get a hold of your Pikmin, they'll, they'll, devour it really fast. Anyway, there's also a Wally Wog over here, and I can demonstrate how much faster it, it goes with reds when you're trying to defeat it. Also, I think in the last part I was kind of... Oh, great. Cutscene. I think in the last part I was kind of rushing, taking, or er, trying to take out the Wally Wogs with the blues. Uh, like, throwing too many Pikmin on it and stuff, but this time I, I won't. Uh, this strengthens the outward emotions of the Dolphin's computer. I already said this in the last part. Anyway, um, so yeah, this, this time I'm not going to throw as many Pikmin on top of it. Get over here, you stupid... Uh, there we go. Actually, I think I threw met too, too many on it before, and that's why they I wasn't able to call them back. Yeah, you want to make sure you have time to actually call the ones to get thrown off back, or else, like I said, they'll just go over and swarm it, and they'll most likely get, you know, like, taken out. Okay, there we go. I didn't lose any to him, and that's good, but I lost one of the sheer grub. How, or maybe it's a sheer rig, I don't know. How pitiful. Anyway, this is the, um... Uh, yeah, I forget the name of this guy, really, but anyway, what he's going to do, he actually demonstrates it right there, he will, oh, it's called the Puffy, pu no, the Puff Stool, yeah, it's called the Puff Stool, he will blow out, like, a noxious, uh, air, or, pu or, I, f I don't know what it's called, like, spores, I guess you could say, when he does that attack, um, and that will actually, like, make your Pikmin attack your own Pikmin, I think. That's what it does, and then they'll eventually just die. I don't think there's a way to recover them from that, because I've tried to do it before, like, whistle them and stuff, and it doesn't work. But what you want to do, you want to swarm him, and I'm just taking so much time explaining stuff. He'll trip over, and you want to throw Pikmin on top of him. Just keep throwing Pikmin on top of him. Usually I can take him out in one try, um, or in one cycle, I guess you could say, and yeah, it looks like I'm going to. It takes a really long time for him to recover, so I should do it. I get out of there. Okay, he should be dead, though. Yeah, I don't know how he got a chance to do an attack there, but anyway. I found the Omega Stabilizer. I absolutely must have this piece in my battered ship, or if my battered ship is ever to fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. That is, or that, and it looks rather cool. Okay, Alamar, I'm glad you, again, think that things look very cool. Where did I lose Pikmin? To him? How? I don't know. Anyway, it takes 30... Of course it does. Anyway, I'll be right... Get on that! Oh my god, stupid Pikmin. I need to get five more reds, apparently, and there's some at base that I left there, so that's fine. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get that fourth ship right in this part with the way I've been doing so far. We will get the third one, though, trust me. I'll have reds take this back, then we'll start getting the, f the third one. I mean, then we'll set up things for getting the fourth one, because you need to break down um, a bombable wall, but we're not going to get... Um, we're not going to actually get, like, the the part, because we need to fight another boss, and it's not a very short boss like that one was. It takes a while, and it takes a lot of patience, too. And I'm going to take out, uh, like, yeah, 20 yellows. This is uh, the thing. I'm just going to get bomb rocks. I'm going to put the reds down there. Then I'm going to get bomb rocks. I'm sorry if I'm bad at explaining things, but I'm more of a person that just likes to do things rather than explain how I do them. 
And, you know, with the Let's Play, I guess you can sort of do that, but I like to also explain my actions sometimes, or at least try to. Yeah, I'll get the um, reds on this part, then I will... Uh, no, no, get on that. I'll get the reds on this part, then I'll go get bomb rocks. I'll actually show you where the bomb rocks are. Um, actually, you need to break down a wall. So, or not a wall, you need to make a... Um, you need to make a ramp thing, and... Uh, after the, you don't, well, there's two ramps that you could potentially make, but I need, I'm only going to make one because it's shorter, obviously, and I don't need to make the other one because I know a thing that allows you not to make the other one. Jeez, these are loud. These stupid fire guys, they're really loud. Oh, my God. Anyway, um, I, I don't know why I only brought yellows because, like I said, we're going to have to make, uh, yeah, make, a, make a ramp over here, actually. That's the next part. Um, I think I'll, th I'll throw these guys on here. There's a Wally Walk over there, and I don't want to attract him at all, because in practice, I did attract him. And he was so stupid, because he came over here, and he got all glitchy with the bridge. That sounds kind of bad, actually, but he got really glitchy with the bridge, I guess you could say. And it was not something that I want to deal with again. Get on the bridge. Get on the... Oh, my God. Pikmin sometimes are so stupid that it makes me wonder how they could even... Well, no, they can't survive by themselves, actually. What am I saying? Uh, so I guess they need someone to live. I don't know. Speaking of which, I don't even know, like... It never really explains, like, how Pikmin got here. Like, what they are. They're probably, like, mutated, <laughs> like, carrots or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get, um... Some more reds, obviously, to take back that part again. Um, the spring thing. I think it's called the... Um, the... I, I, I have no idea what it's called. I just practiced this yesterday. I'm the stupidest person ever. I can't remember a name. Anyway, I, I don't mean to say that, but I know there's a lot of people that don't bother rem remembering, like, names of stuff in video games. But, you know, I just... I usually... I like to think that I'm usually pretty good at remembering stuff, especially in Pikmin like this, but... Apparently today I'm just not on it. I couldn't remember the Puff Stool's name. I couldn't remember this thing. Oh, get out of there. I don't... Like I said, I don't know if that bridge glitch is actually in this version still, but I don't want to take a chance to see if it is. Um, yeah, you can obviously use this guy, sir, to get up here, but, you know, you need Pikmin to actually take that back. There's the bomb rocks right there. Okay, you're done. I'll have the reds take this back, and I will have the yellows get those bomb rocks, so I will actually come out over here to separate you two. I, I think it only takes, uh, 20 to take it back, but, you know, 30 because faster, I guess. Uh, I found my gravity jumper, that's what it's called. By manipulating the forces of gravity, this key component gives me the final boost I need to make it the jump into super light speed. Good thing I found it. Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Oh, it only takes... Oh, 25. Wow, okay. Okay, all 30 are on it. I don't want to make any... I want to make sure no yellows get on it. Because if you just leave Pikmin idle, they'll sometimes grab onto things you don't want them to grab onto, and that's kind of stupid. I think there's actually 10 bomb rocks here. You can't really see it, but... I, there's like a lot of more bomb rocks actually in here. Um, I think that's about 10. I don't know. Anyway, it's more than enough that we need because it's only a light um, gray wall, so that's fine. Okay, they finally got that back. I'm surprised it didn't think it back sooner, but yeah, it's, I guess it's a piece on the bottom like that. It always looked like an apple, like an apple piece to me. I don't know. That's kind of weird, but. This is the dolphin's fin. It's a little beaten up, but it should still function. I made great strides in repairing the dolphin. With this, I shouldn't be able, I should be able to fly again, even if I don't recover all 30 parts. So I guess he's saying this is a necessary one? I don't know. Like I said, he sometimes gives hints on which ones are necessary or not. But, I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much what I said. There's a ramp down there, too. But if you just throw your Pikmin up here, um, at least in the Wii version, it should work out every time because in the GameCube version if you throw a bomb rock they will explode once you throw them so I'm not taking the chance like if I when I was playing the GameCube version that was something that really annoyed me but since I'm playing the Wii version I don't have to worry about that anyway I don't know why I went up here because we need to come down here we need to come over here and it's a wall over here of course it is why not um, there's some fire geysers in the way, which is, again, why we want to bring reds over here. There's another wall that you could break down over here, but if you just take the path that I took, it shouldn't really be a problem. In fact, if we have extra bomb rocks, I may just explode it for no reason. I'm going to wait for that fire geyser to go, because once I drop these bomb rocks, um, the Pikmin will, yeah, just run away from it, and they'll go through that fire geyser, which sometimes will burn them. I think I only need two more on that, actually. And that one just, okay, that's fine. 
Um, I, I actually don't know if the Pikmin are programmed to run back to you if they know that the wall is already bombed with how many bomb rocks you already threw, like that Pikmin over there was. But anyway, we can use the bomb rocks on this just for convenience sake, I guess. And, uh, because I don't feel like bringing a bunch of Pikmin to tear it down. Like I said, we don't need to tear it down. But I, I, th I don't even think the Pikmin will take it through there because I don't think it's any faster. And we're not going to get the piece till tomorrow anyway, but, you know, just convenience sake, I guess. The Zante gravity device allows the dump the dolphin to swim gracefully through the sea of stars like a dolphin yeah i guess that's how we named it sure okay um we have that broken down you know we might we might be able to start fighting the other guy um oh crap don't get these pikmin because i kind of need yellows for the boss because they're the most useful for for once <laughs> um i will i will uh, t I'll, I'll just use the bomb racks on this because i don't need any more bomb racks Oh my god, get away from there. Why would you do that? I want bomb rocks. When I say bomb rocks, I want bomb rocks. That tends to be the situation. But this isn't even going to break the sound, even though it's a light, uh, gray wall. And usually light gray walls only need three. Unless it's just the light deceiving me, and maybe it's actually a dark gray one. I don't know. Um, why am I doing this? Oh yeah, I, I wanted to flower them. Okay, I want to flower some just because boss, you know, things. And you want to bring a small squad of... um of yellows to fight this boss because you do not want to bring a, a big squad at all because they will get demolished and it's not a fun time okay get up here i think they're all flowered okay there's one bud but that's fine and one leaf that's fine uh we're probably not going to actually finish the boss but we'll we'll try our hardest um well you know we might finish the boss and we probably just won't get the ship part back but that's fine uh, get over here why would you grab that i did not in the slightest tell you to grab that i was not going like this i was not throwing you you should listen to me pikmin sometimes anyway uh in here once you step in here you will find beady long le beady long legs and that's really unfair that doesn't happen in the second game once he crashes down anyway you want to wait for him to stop stomping all over the place and this is why you want a small squad of pikmin he will crush your pikmin with his legs like that so you want to wait, wait till he stops, throw yellows onto him, throw, 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 and call them back once he's about to do that. Call them back, get them f as far away from his legs as you can, preferably like over here, because his legs are, are a lot more volatile than you would think. They can crush Pikmin instantly, and they can crush a lot of Pikmin at once. And this is why you want a small squad, because it's easier to man maneuver, and you can't get that many Pikmin on top of him in the first place, so I think it's fine. Okay, uh, that those Pikmin are fine on him. Okay, get them over here. Do not let things get squished. We might actually be able to defeat him. I don't know. Um, as you can see, uh, he, he sort of has like... I don't know. I always thought the textures on him were kind of weird. Like, I don't know. It's it's like... I don't know. It looks kind of almost... You can definitely tell it's a GameCube game, I guess you could say. With like the textures. And I'm losing a bunch of Pikmin. Anyway, that's fine. The less Pikmin... I can't get that many Pikmin on him at once anyway, so I guess it's fine. And yellows aren't that useful, like I said. They're useful here and, like, one other time in the game that I can think of. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I... In Pikmin 2, I think he's... he's and Plus, he's a lot easier in Pikmin 2. One, because, you know, purples. Purples make everything easier. And two, because um, he, he doesn't have as much health in the second game. And I think his feet have like a less number of pikmin they can actually crush i think in this game it's like an unlimited number that he can crush at once which is a little kind of almost like really dangerous but anyway like i said he's not really that hard he, he just takes a lot of patience a lot of the stuff in this area takes patience so uh yeah i think once uh we defeat him he will have the last ship part and I think as long as I carry it out of this battle arena, um, it should stay there for tomorrow when we'll actually be able to take it back. We'll, we'll definitely not be able to take it back in this part. I hope to defeat him, though. I want to get it at least out here. I think it takes 20, though, so that's probably... Eh, maybe. It might stay in the battle arena, but he might also really, like, reabsorb it overnight. I don't actually know if he responds. Probably not in one day, I hope. <laughs> uh, maybe. Anyway, yeah, this is just pretty much what you're doing for the whole boss. It's not really that hard of a thing to get like used to but oh and once you start tearing deteriorating his health more look at him he starts like falling apart whenever he stomps more i always thought that was pretty cool it's a lot more prominent in the second game like he gets a lot more like holes in him and stuff and it's it's just a really cool like t a touch to like physically see that you've harmed him 
Especially with like how much harm he might have caused you. Camera, I do not want this angle. What in the heck would make you think that I want that angle? In the slightest. Oh my god. I want to see where I'm throwing them. Because sometimes you can actually throw them over him. And I'm going to keep fighting him until the day is done. Because where do we have more... Wait, are the other Pikmin at base? Okay, they're fine. They're fine there. I just want to defeat him. I think we'll be able to defeat him. Possibly. Maybe. Probably. Okay. Get over here. <laughs> Sorry if I'm concentrating, but you know, concentration. Just go balls to the wall. Defeat him. Because he will get, he will regain his health overnight, too. Okay. You know what? We're not going to defeat him. Just get in my party. We have all 12. That's fine. I just, I just wanted to have something to do for the rest of the day besides standing around. So you saw the, f uh, the basic gist on how to fight him. We'll have to refight him again tomorrow, which is kind of stupid, I guess. But because I think he'll regain all of his health. But like I said, I'm just glad I got to show him. Because tomorrow I can focus it all on actually defeating him and not, um, you know, trying to explain him. Uh, at all because that's sort of my downfall in doing things sometimes again that wally wog you have nothing so don't act like you have something <laughs> nine days since impact fire should be a natural enemy of the should be oh uh, yeah red pikmin are impervious to fire we've known this since like day one i don't know why he's saying it again anyway uh yeah so we lost some yellows at the end there but i think it's not really that bad i think we only lost eight because i brought 20 yellows and then we had 12 so yeah, in the next part of Pikmin, we will go back to the Force Naval one more time and get the last ship part from BD Longlegs by finally beating him and actually succeeding it in this time. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.